guys we have this question right here it's asking find the reaction forces at a and c and here we have a frame right here the first thing we have to do is we have to put the forces in the picture so we have a here so this is going to have a horizontal force and a vertical force the vertical force i name it as a y and horizontal force is going to be a x and here it's going to be c c y and c x so we can just assume the direction and if you get the answer negative it means we got the wrong direction and we can correct it first of all let's begin the question so let's so let's see what we can do in the whole picture so we have two unknown right here if i and also we have two unknown and this this is this is the known one and i can, if i take moment around this i still have two unknown so I can't really do anything for now. So let's se separate this one. So separate this one into three parts. So if I do that, we are, we are gonna have A B alone and B C B C alone, right? So this is our this is our A, this is our B, and in A we have two forces, A X and A Y. A Y and here we have C X and C Y. So this is a two force member. Uh, two force member. This line is a two force member. Therefore, whatever the force we, we are having right here, it's going to be opposite in this this one. So if this is acting this direction, it's going to be acting this direction. Right here, and this is going to be down. And it's still gonna be this is gonna be CX and this is gonna be CY. And if this is like this, then the top is gonna be opposite of this. So we have a six kilonewton right here. Top is gonna be opposite to this, so it's gonna be same as the bottom one. This is gonna be CX and this is gonna be CY. Now let's see what we can find from this. So if I take uh, So also we, we know this angle is 45 degree because if you see this uh, this height is 2 meter and width is 2 meter therefore if I just tan inverse 2 over 2 it's going to be a 45 degree. So I, I know this is making 45 degrees so I can I can find uh, one of those members. So let's say this this is 45 degree. So since if I if I take moment around A I have 6 known and cx is going this direction so it's not gonna make any movement but cy is pulling this object so we can find the cy using uh, by finding the movement around a so let's do this one so let's take moment around a if i take moment around a it's going to be zero in statics and if i take counterclockwise positive and solve for this one it's going to be six kilonewton acting in the clockwise direction and it's in 2 meter distance so so therefore it's going to be negative 6 times 2 and also we have cy pulling this object in the counterclockwise direction so it's going to be positive plus cy times this is distance uh, is 3 meters so it's going to be multiplied by 3 equal to 0 so if I solve for cy it will become then 12 over 3 is going to be 4 since the answer is positive we know that the direction we took is right direction so it's acting the same direction as it is therefore we know x also in the same direction and we are going to have a c right here so from uh, from this information what i can do is i can find the cx because for example like we know this cy is acting like this right and cx is this one this is cy this is C cx it means c is acting in the middle so i can calculate c by finding c is going to be equal to cy cos 45 so if i do cos 45 it's going to be 4 cos 45 which is equal to 5.657 kilonewton so from this one i can find cx because cx is making 45 degree so it's going to be c cos 45 is going to be cx so it's going to be 
cx is going to be c equals 45 it's going to give the same answer as cy because c equals 45 is going to be 4 kilo newton and it's positive so the direction is right <coughs> and then mm, from these two information we can find ax and ay because we have all the other values are known so if I take uh, in ab if I take summation of f of x and solve for this one f of x is 0 in statics if I take this direction positive and solve for this one uh, cx ax minus cx is going to be equal to 0 we know cx already so ax minus cx is equal to 0 we know cx is 4 so if I apply that one it's going to be ax minus 4 is equal to 0 ax is going to be 4 kilo newton and the answer is positive therefore this direction is correct this direction and then we can find a by by doing summation of f of y f of y is equal to 0 in a b so if I take upper direction positive and solve for this one I will get a y plus a y plus c y minus 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 and we know cy already from here 4 kilo newton so i can substitute here it's going to be a by plus 4 minus 6 is equal to 0 so a by comes out to be 2 and it's positive therefore the direction is right and that's all we had to find we had to find cx cy ax ay that's the main question and uh, all the other values are like if if this if this like if this cy is 4 kilo newton it's going to be 4 kilo newton everywhere here yeah. cx is going to be 4 kilo newton this is going to be 4 kilo newton this is going to be 4 kilo newton and ax is going to be 4 kilo newton and ay is going to be 2 kilo newton and that's my final answer i hope you guys like this video see you next time